Hey everyone, Talking Dave over here, the dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. And welcome to another edition of That Was Random, you know. Okay, so, if you guys notice that I've been, this month, I've been doing Jack Ryan January on my channel for this month. In anticipation of, basically, the new Jack Ryan series from Amazon Prime. But, see, the Jack, Jack Ryan deals with, basically... A certain segment of entertainment and fantasy called espionage and basically espionage you know has to deal with a lot of intelligence gathering and corporate operations but the thing is you know what made the espionage thriller um, espionage ideas more mainstream and popular was the James Bond franchise created by uh, Sir Ian Fleming and basically when the Bond movies came out in the 60s on the screen, you know, the Bond franchise has been going on and on, you know. So we've had James Bond around since the early 1960s, and it's had longevity. But here's the thing, you know, people like games like basically Rainbow Six, Splinter Cell, or shows like Colford, uh, Colford Affairs, Alias, and stuff like that. And, you know, we probably wouldn't have those shows if it wasn't for James Bond. And I'm seeing that, basically, we got millennials saying or uh, being offended by some of the things they see in the James Bond movies of old. The sexism, the man talk, the being... And... You know what? This is just some of the crap that really annoys me. That annoys the fuck out of me about millennials. Seriously. Seriously. No, no, no. Okay. All right. For, so for those millennials that are watching, you know, you know, this is not just a blanket statement about. This is not about you in particular, but this is a blanket statement about people of your generation giving you a bad reputation. You know. Uh, but here's the thing, you know, a lot of the things that you guys like or find very popular, number one, you actually pay money for to see over and over again. And guess what? Most of this stuff came out when your I when either your parents or your grandparents, you know, were watching it and it was big then. So now you're gonna say, Oh, this is offensive and everything. You know, you wouldn't have half of the crap that you have right now, or entertainment, you know, ideas, if it wasn't for that stuff, number one. Number two, you know, this is why no one takes, you know, your generation seriously, or basically, you know, takes the social justice warrior movement seriously, because, you know, you're automatically saying, oh, that's sexist, oh, that's racist, you just label everything like that, and not for anything, you know, it goes against the cause. It really does. You know, do, do you guys really know what racism really is? I, I have to ask. Do you guys really, really know or understand what racism is? Do you really, really know or understand what sexism is? And not for anything, I see these modern feminists around pretty much. Like, you know, it's like, oh, uh, like basically like, you know, we don't need a man and everything. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, but that's but by the same token. Oh, well, if a guy wants to do this for me, then, you know, that's him. No, no, no. You can't have it both ways. You can't. And it's really stupid that you're judging a film or movies or things from, like, you know, 50 years ago, even 40 years ago, by today's standards. It's just stupid. This is almost things you can't do and you shouldn't do, you know. Times change, things change, people change, the world change. Guess what? That's probably how that's how it was back then. And guess what? Now it doesn't have to be that way anymore because time changed. And not for anything, the James Bond franchise, you know, not only the movies but the novels are some of the most creative and more entertaining things that some of y'all have actually like, you know, could could only fathom. But seriously, this outrage about old James Bond movies, classic movies, I'm a smart, classic movies, number one, and number two, basically, a whole event, uh, inventor 
of a popular entertainment genre, and then you're complaining that it's, of, it's offensive? Seriously, grow a fucking spine. Ah, uh, this, this is why I can't stand millennials. Jeez. Guys, agree? Disagree? Drop me a comment below. Give me a like. Follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80. Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, a dorky token black guy who's just trying to get by. I'll catch all of you later. I'm offended. And James Bond was sexist and everything. Oh, shut the fuck up. Ugh.